Hello gang, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back my uh, matchup is with uh, Moogie and Group Um this is the match of the semi-final on loser bracket. No. I guess semi-final loser bracket. Let's go! Minor poison growth breaker and Rubens um Ryan. Hey, why? Why so many to uh so many matchup with Jao Lava? You know that deck you usually want to be a little bit more aggressive with. Maybe he still doesn't have minor in his hand. Seems odd. There we go. Fisherman's out, so he can uh, not worry about the King Tower activation. Sends minor to the back, knowing it's RG. It comes on wall breakers too. Skelly King has to come down. Looking at the matchup overall, it's hey, the minor poison has a bit of an advantage. Bomb tower just go, gets so much value on defense. Poison gets so much value versus the Mother Witch and the Zappies. But already, maybe Ruben has the opportunity to break through with his bomb tower cycle. No Skelly King ability gonna drop. Really good goblins here to predict. Yeah. To allow this mighty miner to shred. Woo! To work with a connect to preset tower. Here. Good. Some more damage with Ruben. Some more damage. Yeah, I mean that was one of those really interesting things of. I know what you know that I know what you know, and and for those at home are like, what is he even talking about? It's <laughs> you know the match, you know exactly what's going to happen, and I think that Ruben probably went for the most obvious play there, whereas Moogie went for maybe the second or third, which is like, if I'm going to do this, you're going to do this, so I need to do this, and that's exactly why those goblins came down, and I love the wall breaker pressure the opposite lane. Like you said, you see, it's insult to injury, and it's a confidence thing. Because not only does that get damage on tower, it tells Ruben, okay, yes, you just won your last set, but this is a completely different player. You need to okay. look at him completely differently than you just did at Ru or with Vitor. Yeah, I mean, that's a great point there. It's almost like that bomb tower dying, which I thought was a bad play, was almost like a bait, which allowed Moogie yeah. to have an easy defense and a clean damage lead here as well. Mm, this night so poison, and the one that needs to make some you want to destroy the piece. Like Fireborn, Goblin, where Goblin? No, we cannot do Goblin right now. Be careful, it's bye bye. Good trade all. A good, good lock. Yes. Oh, you want soft? Mm. Come on, be careful with the goblin here. Ooh, he runs out of the ghetto to connect the preset tower. No way, no, 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 no way, no way, no way. No. No. Oh my god, is. You're the good fools of Ruben from Ruben's. Oh, why change the land? Whoa, what the fireball damn is! Big mistake! Oh, this boy damage. Yeah, I be enjoying I re um turn on ability from mighty minor. Damn. This 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 uh this this can belong to in to Muki for sure. Yeah, you throw away four elixir and you give Muki at least one. Like you said, the skeleton king ability RG push is trying to break through on the right, but the musketeers down, the goblins are down. Fireball trying to kill his musketeer, but the RG doesn't get a single shot. Fireball gonna roll through, and Moogie just sets up another bomb tower. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm up so much damage. You're the one who has to break through. I'm gonna chill. Let's see if Ruben can do it, but I don't think it's gonna happen. 
Yeah, I mean, that was it right there. Moogie is able to get a huge, huge break from the Clash Royale gods. And again, this is going to be a great moment for Ruben to remind himself of who he is and what Let's go, Moogie! I hope you win. Adversity in his career. A missed fireball cannot be the thing that completely destroys your confidence. It may lose a game for you, but we've seen crazier things happen going into game number two. Moogie on top after a missed fireball from Ruben gives away game number one. Yeah, we talk about tilt a lot. This is a huge situation where Ruben needs to take a deep breath and almost forget that that game happened. Because if you let that influence your emotions, a lot of that. Play no ice fire period. Hmm. Oh, close iron. Yes. Very clean win. As the great coach. Mine go back. Uh, go play in at the queen. <laughs> yeah. Makes sense. Short ah, memory loss. Ah, makes sense. All right, we do have Ruben at the bottom once again with a minor poison taking Moogie stacking away. Here we got Moogie going back to this E Giant Gage deck that we've seen him have a lot of success with lately, especially yeah. yesterday. You know, E Giant honestly, what about in general, uh, kind of successful one this power. week? Not abused. One power, so motor. Very interesting. It seems like players that are, you know, very, very. Oh, no way, no way, no way, no way. Wrong position. Bowling. bowling. Damn. Three Mustard Tier. The Mustard Tier gets three shots. Yeah, hmm? least favorite card and a very bad interaction. How to defense? Well how to defense? Ah, he got a much easier right now. Nine lining. Yeah, you see Moogie kind of, I think, thinking the same thing you as you, Juicy, going, wait, what? He's back to this already? Yeah, I mean... It is not the quickest cycle minor deck either. Like, there's no one elixir card, so I was definitely fairly surprised to see that. Great plays by Ruben here. Maybe just another one of those situations where it's like, okay, my bomb tower died. I'm I think the last guy Ruben is poisoned. Now he's just in a pretty solid spot. I don't think rockets. Nobody is rocket on this turn. Uh, this this this, this, this on the time. Wallbreakers player here. Do you wish that you got a little bit more out of single elixir now that you since you are going against such a heavy e giant deck, or do you think it's not really that big of an issue at the moment? You know, that's a great question. I mean, I think he at the same time you do want to get more damage single elixir, but on the other hand, he's, he was very lucky to even get that damage with those must tier shots. Yeah. So, I mean, overall, like you said, Ruben probably needs a little bit more damage at this point. Uh, because Moogie's just going to be able to kind of lightning cycle out the rest of this match potentially. Lightning's a lot of crown tower damage. Yeah, and that actually kind of almost even answers the next question I was going to ask you. Since you are known now as a, a very good E-Giant player, is that the name of the game? Is it just all about lightning cycling now? We can see this already in play for Moogie as he's going to reload. He's putting pressure on the left, and then the Phoenix on the right. Oh my god, this is so much damage. Moogie just destroying... Rubem, he, he cannot use Mighty Miner for defense. Electro Zion. And Moogie... Really good to push. Guess the matter made it one, 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 one. Triple one. In Moogie's mind, he goes, great. It's not damage on my right-hand tower. I'm going to extend my lead. I'm at 700 and some change right now. I'm going to add a little bit more to it. The dual lane pressure just makes this really tough to deal with, especially because all these units in the left hand lane. Are really good, so good, 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 good. Get some more damage. Oh, the so minor right now. Congratulations, Moogie! And I hope Moogie will really try. Um, oh, my slide. A little bit of damage. But once again, it's just another situation like, is this enough to be able to make this comeback happen? Ruben needs a lot of damage going through. So after this game, we will have a much up this win semi-final on the winner brackets. Lining crazy, Tato. It's crazy. Goblin kicks. Yeah, no choice. Lining coming. Crazy minor push. Good. One Tato. CG Rubens. Like 
Good night, Tam. You finished top uh, four. <laughs> Last line incoming. Yes. Tam to congratulations, Moogie. And just to remind everyone at 